Not all creatures are as adorable as others in the world, which is why it's important to keep an open mind. When it comes to animals, some can only be described as weird looking like random creatures from a monster creation computer game, while others just look like crossbreeds between two species that never should or could have crossed. Despite their enormous numbers, a few of them turned out to be a little odd compared to the rest of the animal and undersea kingdom. Every species' features are shaped by the conditions it finds itself in, and this is true for both large and small beings everywhere. Oceans and deserts are two of the most unique places on Earth, with a wide range of organisms that can adapt to the conditions. Ten of the strangest animals on Earth will be discussed here. These strange-looking creatures are as awe-inspiring as they are strange-looking. You may be surprised by what you discover if you continue watching. Number 10. Platypus. An Australian animal, the platypus, stands out from the rest. To distinguish them from all other mammals is what makes them monotremes. Platypuses, like echidnas, belong to a separate order of mammals called monotremes. It wasn't long before European naturalists and scientists were convinced that the platypus was a hoax because of its odd appearance. This creature is well suited to a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Dense, waterproof fur coats the animal's sleek body and broad, flat tail, making it very well suited for use in frigid climates. As rudders, the platypus's hind feet are partially webbed, allowing them to steer through the water. The ear holes in the eyes that the eyes that close as the animal dives are housed in the grooves behind its characteristic bill. Fat reserves are stored in the platypus tail, which is also used for digging and moving around. Platypuses have horny spurs on their ankles that connect to a gland in their upper legs, making them one of the few poisonous animals in the world. When feeding, they favor coarser bottom materials like cobbles and gravel over finer substrates like sand and silt. Whenever it isn't out hunting for food, the platypus prefers to stay in its burrow on the bank of a stream, river, or pond. People can hide in rocky crevices and stream debris, or they can hide under the roots of nearby plants. Number 9. Commodore Dog. Another weird animal is the Hungarian Commodore Dog. They look like Rastafarian dreadlocks because of their white coats with white tassels. Even though they don't have the huge stature and bulky build of their Hungarian counterparts, the Komandorok have a commanding presence because of their white coats with white tassels. With a medium-sized head and hair covering most of its facial characteristics, the dog looks like a mutt from the outside in. The torso is muscular, and the tail is perfectly straight. Raka sheep from Hungary have similar floppy mop-like coats to shield them from predators and harsh weather. The dog's white coat made it easy for him to blend in with the flocks of sheep around him. The fluffy coat of a puppy begins to mat between the ages of 8 and 10 months. As a result of its breeding as a herd protector, the Commodore is naturally suspicious of strangers and protective of its own kind. Today, the Commodore is both a good friend and a good guard dog for the humans it protects. A dog's early training in the open fields, when he was left to make his own decisions for the good of the flock, can be a double-edged sword in many households today. Its independent thought processes make the common, common door an unsuitable choice for many households, despite its intelligence and great sense of security. This list of the top 10 weirdest animals wouldn't be complete without the common door dog. Number 8. Frill-necked lizard. Agamid lizards like the frilled lizard are called frill-necked lizards, frilled dragons, and frizzy-necked agamas, Chlamydosaurus kingii. That region of Australia and New Guinea is home to only a single population of the species. Chlamydosaurus is a genus with only one species. The large frills around the lizard's neck, which are generally folded against its body, are what give the creature its name. As a tree dweller, C. kingii spends the vast majority of its time in the trees. Most of its meals are insects and tiny animals, such as flies. It's not uncommon for frillneck lizards, or frillies, as they are known, to be plants, but this is a rare occurrence. A modeled effect resembling tree bark can be achieved by the use of brown or gray hues blended with darker spots and patches. Colors vary depending on the lizard's surroundings, so there isn't one universal shade. Lizards that live in dry, clay-filled environments are more likely to show a variety of oranges, reds, and browns, whereas lizards that live in wetter, more tropical environments are more likely to show darker browns, grays, and some greens. 
Their colors are a sort of camouflage since they are tailored to their environments. The ruff of skin that covers the head and neck of these reptiles is the most distinctive feature of these creatures. Long cartilage spines attach to the jawbones and support the neck frill shape. Number 7. Echidnas. The echidna is a member of a family of quill-covered monotremes, egg-laying mammals, classified as tachyglo tachyglossidae. The echidna is also known as the spiny anteater. In addition to the platypus, the four existing species of echidna are the only living mammals that lay eggs and are members of the monotremata order. However, they are not closely related to true anteaters of the Americas, who, together with sloths and armadillos, devour ant colonies and termites as their primary food. Echidnas are indigenous to Australia and New Guinea. Echidnas descended from a monotreme resembling a platypus between 20 and 50 million years ago, when they first appeared on the scene. However, echidnas evolved from aquatic predecessors. Caves and fissures in rocks serve as protection for echidnas, which cannot endure excessive temperatures. Underbrush, roots, and other debris serve as hiding places for echidnas in the wild. Rabbit and wombat burrows are common places for them to hide out. A single echidna has a huge territory that it shares with several others. Number 6. I.I. I.I. is one of the most repulsive animals on the planet. This tiny monkey is also one of the most fascinating. A 14 to 17 inch long species with a long tail found only in Madagascar. With guard hairs that are whitish, it has long, wiry hairs that range in color from gray to black on its body. However, its teeth are constantly growing like those of a rodent. Like bats and squirrels, the eye eye uses echolocation to find its way around, and it can scale trees headfirst. It has large, glaring orange or tan eyes that are spherical. It also has a third finger that it uses to probe into holes it has dug with its teeth and grab grubs out of those holes. People in the area don't like an endangered species because they think it's a demon and will kill it at any chance. Despite their difficulty in keeping, eyes can be found in zoos all over the world, some of these include Cincinnati, Philadelphia, and the Bristol Zoo in the UK. Number, number 5. Axolotl. The species was originally discovered in a number of lakes, including Lake Xochimilco, which is located beneath the Mexican capital of Mexico City. In contrast to most other species of amphibian, axolotls do not go through the process of metamorphosis in order to reach adulthood. Adults remain underwater and gild rather than attempting to leave the water. The axolotl can only be found in the valley of Mexico's freshwater lakes, Xochimilco and Chalco. Flood control efforts resulted in the draining of Lake Chalco, and only the canals of Lake Xochimilco remain as evidence of their former selves. It's rare for the water temperature in Xochimilco to climb over 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, although it can fall as low as 6 to 7 degrees Celsius, 43 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, in the winter. In its Lake Xochimilco habitat, surveys in 1998, 2003, and 2008 showed 6,000, 1,000, and 100 axolotls per square kilometer. A four-month-long hunt in 2013 failed to find any wild survivors. In less than a month, two wild ones were found in a network of canals that flow from Xochimilco to the city. Mexico City's rapid expansion has put a significant strain on the natural world. According to the IUCN's yearly red list of endangered species, the axolot is now considered threatened. Number 4. Hairy Frog. Hair and fur are commonly seen on mammals and some insects, but rarely on amphibians or reptiles. One exception is the hairy frog, commonly known as the wolverine or nightmare frog. They get what looks like hair on their thighs and sides when they're reproducing, which is when they're about four to five inches long in the first place. The frog's dermal papillae are not hairs, but rather dermal papillae with arteries that assist the frog absorb more oxygen. They work like the gills of a frog when it is a tadpole. Due to his role as guardian of his mate's eggs once she has laid them, them, he will require additional oxygen. Additionally, this frog has wolverine-like claws that can retract. The claws are comprised of bone and can only be averted if the frog destroys the bones in its own toe and allows the claw to pierce through its skin. Number 3. Pangolin. 
Phalodota, or scaly anteaters, are pandolins, which belong to the genus Phalodota. Manus, Phytaginus, and Smutsia are the three genera that make up the manatee, the only extant family. Phytaginus and Smutsia, which have two species each, are the only two species known in sub-Saharan Africa. They can grow up to 100 centimeters in length, 12 to 39 in. All known mammals lack the enormous, protective keratin scales found on the skin of pangolins, the only other known animal with this trait. Depending on the species, they may reside in burrows or hollow trees. In the night, pangolins hunt for termites and ants using their long tongues, which they use to catch prey. One to three offspring are often the result of a one to three offspring mating ritual, which lasts for around two years. When a pangolin is a baby, it has soft scales that harden as it gets older, giving it the impression of a plate-like appearance. These scales are very different from the scales of reptiles, which are made of keratin, which is the same material as human fingernails and tetrapod claws. Number 2. Okapi. An endangered species of artiodactyl mammal native to the northeastern region of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, the okapi, also referred to as the forest giraffe, Congolese giraffe, or zebra giraffe, is an endangered species. Okapis have striped markings that are similar to those found on zebras, but they are actually more closely related to giraffes. They are the only two extant relatives of the giraffidae family. While most okapis are active during the day, a few may be active at night. They spend much of their time alone, only coming together to reproduce. All of the plants that okapis consume are native to the area where they live. Males and females experience ruts and estrus regardless of the season. Estrus cycles recur every 15 days in captivity. A single calf is typically born at the end of a 440 to 450 day gestation period. Nurseries for the juveniles are kept secret and only take place on an as-needed basis. Weaning occurs at six months for infants who have been receiving solid food since they were three months old. Number 1. Blobfish. The blobfish is a deep-sea fish which inhabits waters just above the seabed at depths of 600 to 1,200 meters, 2,000 to 3,900 feet, off the coasts of mainland Australia, New Zealand, and Tasmania. The blobfish is a rather odd-looking fish out of water, but this is due to the strange adaptations to its preferred waters. While many fish use gas bladders to create buoyancy, the blobfish does it by being made up of gelatinous mass with a slightly lower density than water. The blobfish is also lacking in muscle, so much of its existence is spent floating along with the current and eating whatever floats right in front of it. That's all for today. See you in another video. If you enjoy the video and found it informative then please like the video and share it with your friends and social media. Never forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon next to it. Share the video if we earn it. Thanks for watching.